Welcome to the grand tour video of my 150 hour Wimpy Kid poster. I intentionally made this a separate video because this is a lot more calm compared to my other fast paced video for the general audience. This tour is for my original subscribers and the people that suck around. So hey new viewers, it's nice meeting you. Our first section is the world map. Yes, I had to draw an outline of the world and that was pretty difficult. All these languages are the Wimpy Kid title translated into whatever language that country speaks. For example, Diary of Wimpy Kid in Spanish is Diario de Greg. I definitely messed that up. I just used Google Translate so there could be some errors. I had to reference the covers and you can see that four OGs. Yeah, you can take a quick peek at some of the characters in the bottom left, like Karen. All right, so this is the middle left section. Here we can see the iconic cheese as well as some other cameos like Big Nate. Below, you already know who it is, Mr. Beast and Chandler. Basically, they're all in this mansion that I tried to create but it didn't really turn out to be anything. Right below is the bottom left corner of this poster. Now this is where everything began. I mimic Greg's playground with a lot of characters. We've got his PE teacher, the gossip girls, a basketball scene, and a bunch of Wimpy Kid characters chasing some guy. Next, we're gonna slide to the right. This is the bottom left region. Part of the section is Greg's school. We've got some other middle schoolers and the reference of the cheese touch. To address the elephant in the room, there's a huge city called Gregopolis. It's a city that obviously revolves around Greg. Some events in the city are the Greg Olympics and the Greg style pancakes at Jiha. Let's take our attention to the center left region. I purposely made this huge message that I created this poster so I don't want some dumb reddit people to repost this as theirs. Plus I have a bunch of trademarks all over my poster. There's not too much going around here. We have the covers of Wimpy Kid from Dog Days of the Third Wheel. Then we've got a middle school meme. This is you in 6th grade and this is you in 8th grade. Hey hey hey, this is the 6th section of my poster. It's really big. This is probably the busiest region of my poster. Let me dissect this down for you. This is a collage of the Heavily family like Manny, Roderick, Mom, and Dad. I listed a bunch of characteristics about them. There's also some quotations such as Bubby or I'm sorry woman. A lot of these items near them are related to the Wimpy Kids series. Just to name a few, Roderick's van, Manny's pacifier from book 9, Mom's reading program from book 4, and Dad's Civil War Battlefield playset. I told you, I'm Mr. Kinney's biggest fan. I know a lot about Wimpy Kid trivia. In the top right, there's an acknowledgements message of Mr. Kinney, but that's boring, let's move on. Lucky number seven, bottom central. We've got Mr. Kinney, the author of the Wimpy Kid series, smack in the VIP part of my poster. This is drawn with color pencils, which I'm not exactly best at, but it turned out pretty nice. Take a close look at the characters beside him. A lot of them are supporting characters like Grandpa and Mr. Jefferson, who's the guy called Igdoof. He's a comic character that Mr. Kinney made in college. You know how the pig is so smart? Well, he can drive a whole machine. It's basically a tank that looks like a pig. It also has a mini bar for the pig to eat some snacks. Deep down to the right, we have Mr. Kinney's bookstore, an unlikely story, and below, me and the boys. What a great beam. Just a little to the right, we feature the healthy house where everything goes down. They don't actually show the house that much, so I had to scan through a bunch of books to gather an actual description of what it looks like. We've got Uncle Gary on top of the garage, washing lotto numbers and storing Botson, not Boston t-shirts. Also, we've got the muddy hand from Dog Days. All of the words by Greg are what he thinks he is, but the words in the box are what other people actually think of him. Expectations versus reality, yeah. Moving on to number 9, Central Right Region. Most notably are the small snippets I took from the books. For example, I'll be famous one day, but for now, I'm stuck in middle school with a bunch of morons. To the right are scenes from the first Wimpy Kid book. Finally, at the top, we have all the Wimpy Kid book covers from Hard Luck to the Getaway. Alright, the 10th region is top right. This part is hectic. We feature Rowley and his hilarious traits, Zooey Mama and Joshi are some of his attributes. You can pause this video if you like, because there's so many little details that you might miss. All these objects are inspired from the books. If you look to the right of Rally, there's Dream. You might be wondering why I'm saying, can I be a super fan? It is because of this video where this kid claims to be a super fan of the Wimpy Kids series. I don't know, but I'm simping pretty hard here. If you move diagonally up and to the right, you can see Mr. Walsh, which is what the super fans imaginary character. There's also two basic bros playing some twisted wizard on the big screen. Below that is what the media says about the Wimpy Kids series like Time Magazine or the Washington Post. All right, then we've got the top right corner. This highlights the three, and I said three Wimpy Kid movies and all the actors. You might be saying, why did you make one of the movie covers so tiny? What do you mean? They're the same size. Casey Neistat is saying that. If you notice right above the first Diary of Wimpy Kid movie, it's a character called Top Rank's Comrade. Yeah, that's Serbian Woba and his fluffy husky. In the top right was obviously the wheel challenge where I had to draw Dude Perfect and Danny Gonzalez. I think the coincidental part of drawing Danny is that his army is called Greg and my poster is all about Greg's. The 12th section is the center far right. 
Here, I showcase Greg in all his beauty. Oh, baby. He's glowing because he's that powerful. And you can see the Wimpy Kid book covers of books 12 to 14. Then we got a bunch of miscellaneous other books like the Movie Diaries and the Do-It-Yourself books. Oh, and also the Rally Diary spinoff thing. Lastly, the bottom right corner of the poster, I showcase Sweetie before and after the Great Enlargement. Also made a coming soon section of the Deep End and Rally's Awesome Friendly Adventure number two. Obviously, those books have already come out, which really shows how long ago this poster was made. At the bottom corner, is the epic timeline. It details Mr. King's life from birth up to 2020. It's really an adventure, maybe take a quick look at that. And that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful tour of the Wimpy Kid poster. You can see watch at the end, here's a reward. If you comment something with this emoji on the screen, I'll shout you out in an upcoming video. Hopefully Mr. Kenny will see this because this poster took literally eight months to make. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the original video. But other than that, consider subscribing and I'm out.